What's up YouTube? This is DBZK Cargo and I'm back with my thoughts on the upcoming spring 2017 anime season. Uh, so, like I do every season, I talk about what's coming up, what I'm going to watch, if, it's good, if I think it's going to be good, what I think is going to be bad, you know, the same general stuff. Uh, so winter was kind of a very, not, wasn't really that good of a season. Uh, checking out spring, I've looked over the list a couple times. Uh, it might be alright. There's a lot of really big titles coming out, but, uh, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> uh, first show, 100% Pascal Sen Sensei. Doesn't look like my kind of thing. Probably a kid show. Next, Alice 2 Zukuro. Uh, Fantasy Girl. Something Alice's dream. Her imaginations can come to life. Uh, science. Sci uh, it sounds like it could be like a magical girl type of show. I don't know, maybe a little fantasy, sciencey, edgy. <laughs> Not really sure. I might check that out. I don't know. I need super whatever. Chinese web comedy manga doesn't really look like my thing. Adam the Beginning. Uh, this looks kind of cool. Something, uh, uh, it tells the story of what happens up until the birth of Astro Boy and is considered an episode zero story. So it's like a prequel to Astro Boy, Astro Boy which I think is really cool. Uh, it's probably going to be really sciencey. It's done by IG, so they usually do some pretty good stuff. So I'm definitely going to check that out. Berserk 2, oh god, definitely not gonna watch that, didn't finish Berserk Season 1, I saw one episode, it was pretty bad, <laughs> not really interested, uh, Beyblade, Kid Show, uh, oh, here's two of the really big ones coming out, My Hero Academia Season 2, uh, I was a big fan of Season 1, I actually read it a lot farther in the manga, um, uh, I read the arc that they're adapting for the second season, uh, it's a very fun, good arc, I just really hope there are rumors that it's 24 episodes, and I think it really needs it for this arc. It's kind of a tournament, I won't say too much, but it's a really fun arc, and as long as it's done with the right amount of episodes, it should be good. Like, my problem with the first season was the pacing was really off, and the 12 episodes was really not a good amount. It was too short, but I think if 24 is for the season, it'll be a lot better. Next, we got Boruto, the Naruto sequel about his son. Uh, Naruto is something I grew up with, something I love, even though it's not the greatest, it's so, it has a special place in my heart, and I'm definitely going to be watching Boruto, just because I love the show so much, even though it's not the greatest, and I don't know how good it's actually going to be, I'm just excited. Next, Buso Shoujo Machiavellianism. It's like some, there's a school of girls where, like, they all fight, they have different powers or something, and then the guy joins... I don't know. This seems like one of those shows that's, like, trying to sell on the whole name. Like, it says Machiavellianism. It's like, you know, that... For those that don't know, Machiavelli was a famous writer in, like, the 15, 1600s. Uh, he wrote the book The Prince, which is all about warfare and cunning and stuff. So, I hope it's not one of those shows that's trying to just sell on, like, the whole historical figure twist or something. I don't know. Might be fun. I might try it out just for an episode to see what it's like, but hopes are not high. Next, Clockwork Planet. This looks like... I don't know, some edgy light novel adaptation, some planet, I don't know, probably guy in another world or something, probably gonna skip. Duel Masters, no. <laughs> Here we go, uh, this is the spinoff to Don Machi, actually, is it wrong to try to pick up Girls in Dungeon? Uh, it's called Sword Oratoria, uh, about Ice Wallenstein, one of the side characters. I didn't, I liked Don Machi, I wasn't really turned off by it, I never actually finished it, just because I never really got around to it, not too much priority, but I definitely saw, I saw like half of it, maybe a little more, it's definitely fun, so I think I'm gonna check this out, it's just a spinoff, so I don't think I really need, to, it's not a sequel, so I don't think I'm missing anything, so I'm kind of excited for it. Uh, Aero Manga Sensei, this show seems really bad, it's very much like Oriimo, I think it's by the same writer, and it looks pretty awful. <laughs> It's like some otaku shut-in girl and like her something guy and his sibling. I don't know. Doesn't really seem like my thing. Frame arms girl. This looks stupid about like toy girls who fight. I don't know. It's stupid. Fukumenki noise. I don't know. Some music show. Romance music. Looks like it'll be boring. Not my thing. Future card buddy fight. No. Gin no Guardian. Chinese web comic. Oh. Uh, one of the best online players in any, uh, it's a, hmm, I don't know, it's based on a Chinese web comic, so I don't know how good it's gonna be, seems like no game, no life, I don't know, might check it out. Grand Blue Fantasy, the animation, heard that, uh, the first two episodes are out for some reason, like, they premiered as special, I didn't check them out because I wanted to wait for the show to come out f fully, and people really seem to like it, uh, it seems like a cool fantasy show, I definitely want to check it out.
uh, Hinako no looks like a, Hinako's poor sport uh, is poor at speaking and lives in the rural part of Japan. She wants to improve her speech. Blah blah. blah. All right, it seems like a typical girl moves to a new school, meets everyone, blah, blah, blah. Wacky, crazy people. I don't know. Probably might check out. Probably not sure. IDO, Machines, Robots, by Sands again, so it's probably CG. Eh, not really my thing. Looks kind of boring. Idol Show, skip in. Kabu, Kabu Kibu. A girl, uh, looks like some sort of harem comedy. Nah, skip him. Especially Dean, nah. Uh, not caught up on Kyokai no Rene. Not gonna watch the third season. Love Komei. We love Rice. Oh, it's that stupid Rice show. I'm probably not checking that out. Sixth season of Natsume. Nah. Haven't seen any of it. Uh, this looks like a stupid reverse harem. Or maybe a harem. I can't tell if those are guys or girls or not. <laughs> not checking that out. Puri Puri Chichan. Looks like being... I, I don't know what this is. It looks weird. No. Recreators. This is actually something I'm excited about. It sounds really stupid and really edgy, but I believe the original manga is by the writer that wrote... Or the the story is by uh, the guy that wrote Black Lagoon, and I really like Black Lagoon. So I definitely want to check it out. Renai Boken. Girl, angel... Oh, she, she has like the kiss note or something. I heard about this. It's like a parody of Death Note. It might be funny. It might be like a traditional, normal high school drama romance. I'm going to check it out, though. It sounds fun. Uh, this looks like a kid show. Rilu, Rilu. Uh, I don't know how to say any of this. Action, fantasy, light novel, school. Yeah, probably skipping. Uh, Sodateka, boring, whatever. How to Raise a Boring Girlfriend, season two. Haven't seen season one, so I'm not going to check that out. Uh, Sakurada Reset. By David Production, who does JoJo, so it might be good, <laughs> just because David Production is pretty solid. Uh, this is like, oh, the girl has special powers, she can reset time, and the guy, for some reason, like is aware, even though no one else is. So, as long as they don't go overboard with this reset, and it doesn't get overtly dramatic and edgy, it could be fun. But my hopes are very neutral, not too high. Sakura Quest, by PA Works, Micronation... Mm, small nation, uh, oh, jobs, I don't know, if it's, like, kind of political, maybe, but it's also looking like it's just gonna be a cute girl show, so probably not gonna check out, maybe, Sekai Suru Kado by Toei, hmm, oh, uh, CG, uh, politics, maybe, oh, here's probably one of the ones I'm more excited for this season, very excited, Rage of Bahamut Season 2 Virgin Soul. Really liked Season 1 of Rage of Bahamut Genesis. It was really cool, uh, but like no one watched it, even though it's a really fun, different-feeling fantasy show. And definitely everyone should check it out. Very excited for Season 2. It's actually going to be 24 episodes this time, so I'm very excited for that. The one thing that scares me is it takes place 10, 10 years later, and there's a new protagonist. Even though all the old characters will still be there, this girl is, like, the new protagonist, and she she meets, like, the old characters. I don't know. I'm still excited, though. Next we got, oh, boy. <laughs> Attack on Titan Season 2. I don't like Attack on Titan, but I'm going to watch this because everyone in the world is going to, and I want to laugh as it falls apart and burns, <laughs> honestly. I think it's going to be pretty bad, and I'm very excited to see it just fall apart. Oh, God, it's going to be the biggest show of the season. I hope... Everyone else realizes that it's trash. <laughs> Next, some light novel that I'm not going to try to pronounce. Some group of some fighting. I don't know. Probably generic action, fantasy world. Leprechauns? I don't know. Sin, Nanatsu no Taizai. Not to be confused with Nanatsu no Taizai or The Seven Deadly Sins. This is just The Seven Deadly Sins, but like about booby women or something. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not going to watch. Starmu 2, never watched season 1. Snack World looks like a kid show. I think it's Transformers kid show. Sugumomo Sugumomo Treasure the Obi Nah, sounds stupid. Dramatic. Wow. Suki Gakire. Uh, focuses on students, classmates, depth, girl connection. Uh, just sounds like a drama. Nah, probably not gonna watch. Twin Angel Break. Yeah, it looks stupid. Magical Girl comedy. Yeah, probably not gonna check out. Uh, the Eccentric Family 2, never watched season 1, but I might check it out. I've heard a lot of decent things about it. 
Um, it might be up my alley. I really don't know. But it could be fun for all I know. Uh, next, Waru Salesman New. Uh, I don't know. This looked weird. I don't know if this is like a new sequel to an old show, but I don't, I don't know. I might check it out. Yu-Gi-Oh! V Reigns. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> I didn't watch any of Arc V. Uh, I saw one episode and it was, I don't know. But I might check V Reigns out depending on if it's cool or not. It looks like classic Yu-Gi-Oh! Edginess, whatever, but I might watch it. Zero, Kara, Haj, blah, blah, White Fox. Oh god, White Fox is doing another light novel that's basically the same name as ReZero. Um, Grimoire Fantasy, Fire, blah, blah, blah. So, I don't know. <laughs> Might check it out. Hope it's just not, like, ReZero. <laughs> Leftovers, Cochinpa, I don't know what that is, not watching. Haven't watched Little Watch Academia yet, because I think Netflix got the right, so it's not legally streamable. Haven't watched any of the old Mushi Petal, so not watching season, uh, continuation. Shorts, let's see if there's anything good. Not watching whatever that is, no. Cinderella Girls, no. Not watching this boy show. Roommate, a male spinoff of One Room. Oh, God, no. Season 2 of the Shinobi, no. I don't know what that is. No, these all look, like, pretty bad. <laughs> movies, there are actually a couple movies that look good. Uh, Blame, the movie, I've heard people really like the manga. I believe Netflix is getting it, so that's cool. Definitely gonna check that out in the future. Fairy Tale Dragon Cry. This is, I think the whole thing in the movie is it's, like, hinting that the show is ending, or whatever, the series is ending, so... That might be cool. Uh, might check it out. I don't know. Uh, there are also two movies here. If you notice, the studio is really interesting. Science Saru, which is uh, Masaki Yuasa's studio, I believe. So if he's directing both both movies, uh, Yoake Tsuguru Luno Uta, where it's a, I don't know, a mermaid and a kid meet. And then this other one, I don't know how to say it, Yoru wa Mijikashi. I believe is somehow related to the Tommy Galaxy, which I really want to watch, but I haven't had the chance yet. I've heard it's one of the best shows ever. I definitely need to check it out. These are two movies definitely on my radar because of uh, Yuasa being attached. Uh, that's it for movies, OVAs, anything. Oh, here's probably the show, also another show I'm really excited for. Gundam Thunderbolt Season 2. Just recently watched Season 1. It's really short. It could literally be watched in like an hour and like 20 minutes. Really cool show, traditional, just Universal Century Gundam, almost kind of like a spinoff. Uh, it's about basically this team that's like, both, both sides of the war are fighting in this small little sector, and the main character is really cool, the the main, well, main characters are really cool because it's Gundam, you know, there's not technically villain, it's hard to say, I don't really know. I haven't seen too much of Gundam, but Gundam Thunderbolts, definitely a solid show, definitely should check it out. Uh, and I believe that is it. That's basically everything I'm going to be watching, my thoughts on everything. Uh, so yeah, definitely most excited, if I had to say off the top of my head. Uh, My Hero Academia Season 2, of course. Boruto. Uh, surprisingly, uh, Sword Oritaria. Uh, Grand Blue Fantasy. Recreators, if it is by the same guy as Black Lagoon. If not, no. <laughs> Maybe Sagarada Reset. Uh, definitely Bahamut Virgin Soul. Probably the most I'm excited for. Attack on Titan Season 2, just because I want to watch it crash and burn. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! if I watch it. Uh, the two movies by uh, Yuasa and Thunderbolt 2. Uh, well, that's my thoughts. I want to thank you guys all for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and I'll make sure to catch you guys next time. Bye.